Welcome everyone. Uh, this is my first video. Um, so I'm going to be trying to walk to work from the bus line. Um, I'm hoping to do another video about the Laker line later. So you can see that the snow is not plowed at all on the sidewalk, but it's perfectly clear on the, the roadway there. Right there, I was trying to show you about how the distance between the lights. Uh, and I'm trying to indicate all the pathways uh, that are coming in and out of uh, different businesses. So, more obviously, more car infrastructure. Um, doesn't seem like there's any concern about people walking. Uh, none of these businesses have started to plow or de-ice their sidewalks. Um, and a lot of these businesses, um, like the Jimmy John's, is not open on Mondays or Sundays. Um, we're going to go past a empty building right here. Uh, it's been Oh, yeah, right there I am. Um, I tripped over some ice. So this building next to me has been empty for about uh, more than a year now. Um, this, uh, the one next to it, the next open slot, has been, it's been filled for about half a year now as a coffee shop and a ramen place in it. I haven't tried the ramen yet, but the coffee is not that great. Um, it does have a really nice atmosphere. But again, rolling on opens on certain days of the week. Um, so now we go, obviously we see all this trash and cement. Uh, pillars just stuck everywhere. Um, a parking lot, used to be a building. Um, so we also have this abandoned building as well that they're trying to get sold. Um, you can see I just got hit by dirt right there. Yeah, it's real fun. Um, this is actually the place I got hit uh, by the car. Um, I was riding my bike. Mind you, there's no bike um, infrastructure on this road. So, a bit of a problem there. Um, actually, I'm looking right there. I was trying to see if I could cross uh, the intersection um, to get to that restaurant. It was not happening. Um, but about the uh, the car incident, I I got hit. Um, they tried to sue me uh, for me getting hit by them. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, yeah, as you can see from the video, there's. There's not a lot of room for the sidewalk. A lot of abandoned buildings. Um, so this is just affecting the walkability of the area, which is affecting how many people can actually get to these areas. Because this road is awful. Because like two streets down, um, it's a dense, walkable environment. Um, a lot of little shops just mixed in the middle, which I'm hoping to do videos later. But, um, yeah, so you can see one of the businesses started to clear uh, the areas. Um, Bob's Sports Bar. Uh, they're pretty nice folks. It's kind of a dive bar, but it's still fun. But the thing is, Bob's has a whole massive parking lot to themselves, which all most of their customers walk. Um, across the street right there in that new, frankly, not that great looking building. It does have a lot of good characters. Um, you have looking over a, a four laner. Well, not a four laner, sorry. It's a. Uh, one, 
No, it's a three laner. Okay, so yeah, it's a three laner with a turn lane in each. Okay. Oh, yeah, as you can see, I can't get past them. Um, that is also another problem with how small the sidewalk is. Um, so, there's a, the building we just passed, it used to be actually a uh, car wash. Um, they sort of transformed it into a taco shop. Um, you can actually see this T-Mobile building uh, business actually got ran into. You can see the tape and everything on it. Then again, you have more car-related um, buildings, or car-related um, businesses. Got the Coney Island uh, hot dog stand. Um, great diner. Um, you can get food any time of the night. Yeah, you can see that the, the closest crosswalk is not for a long while. Um, I'm just going to let the video play. You guys see if you guys can find any more errors. So as we come upon uh, the alleys right here, I don't understand why pedestrians have to backtrack to get to their location, unlike cars. First of all, most people on this stream are just going to do UEs, which is not the greatest, but yeah, that's like a few pileups here. Um, So yeah, we're gonna, again, all of the entrances, sidewalk in the clear, um, there is a bus route on this street, which I could have taken, it's the bus 13, it runs every hour, so if I got, used it to get to work, I would have to leave almost two to three hours earlier than having to leave an hour earlier. 
So my commute is, I'm from farther outside the city, so I have to commute about 30 minutes in, and then I have to take a 15 minute walk to work. It's not bad, it's just, there's no options to get down here. You do see the bikes running around, but on Michigan, you can't. So, Look at this shit. Where's the sign there's not really a possible way. Um, here, at the KFC, you can see that there's the bare minimum to clean the sidewalk. So, that's always fun. It's, um, it's not the greatest environment to walk in. Um, we're going to be coming up on this intersection of Michigan and Diamond, and for almost six months, the walking lights didn't work. So, two of the walking lights were not functioning. I had to put in a request to get them fixed, and they just didn't care. Uh, they put it off and off and off. And by the winter hits, when less people are walking because they don't plow the sidewalks, they've started fixing them. Um, oh, you can see this building. Um, yeah, it just kind of turns to the corner. You don't have a lot of room. Most of the time, if they plow this area, it's going to be piled up in snow. Because a lot of the times, the people who plow the snow will push it right there. Um, also, you can't enter this building from the front. You have to go all the way down to the side of this building to enter it. So I play for a second, blah, blah. 